I'm not even sure I have a scripture for this. I don't know what to say about this video. All I can tell you is about me in this regard, and that is I feel like being a bit petty. I'll tell you what I mean. This video is easily the most annoying pastor ever. And because I heard him and it stuck, I mean, when I say he's stuck in my head, he's stuck there. And I need him to be stuck in your head too. If I'm going to be annoyed, well, doggone it, you need to be annoyed too. And if you think I'm exaggerating, if you think this is not the most annoying preacher or preaching, hooping, speaking, whatever, if you don't agree, I, I pray for you. Because if you've heard something worse, more annoying, I don't know. I don't know this man's name, but let me just, without further ado, go ahead and introduce you to the preacher of the year. This is the day that the Lord has made. You see, the Lord made it. That means he's in control of it. That he's in the details of whatever unfolds. I told you. I don't know what he's saying. Matter of fact, if you just take what he's saying and run this back when it's all said and done, just run it back and take away the, I can't even make that noise. I can't even make that noise. Run it back. He didn't say a thing. He didn't, he didn't say a word. In your life, and sometimes tragedies are hidden blessings and victories. I remember I got off work one day. He just telling the story. I remember I got off work one day and I went to the street corner and then the light turned and then a car. Now, I don't know what's worse. It's after a while, the hooping or oh, that yelling that screeching sound, it ends up becoming almost like white noise. I promise you, let's do it enough. It becomes like white noise and you start noticing other things, him doing with the glasses thing and then moving back. I, yeah. And the Lord whispered to me, all things work together for your good. Well, when the first time I came to the stoplight, the light turned green. So I went on through the light. And unfortunately, somebody sideswiped me. I said, Lord, have mercy. As I said, see that time though, when he when he did it, he went forward instead of backwards. I don't know if he caught himself right there. I caught it. Sit there shaking, tears rolling down my cheeks. God said, this is not a calamity. This is your come up. For the victory. Could you listen to him? I, I, I could, could. Imagine that's your pastor. That's your pastor, and you have to hear that every Sunday. He has got a style that could literally clear a room. And I'm sitting here searching. Well, <laughs> what is the biblical lesson in that? Well, I guess find a preacher that has the word because he doesn't. I don't know what he's doing. I think maybe he just wants to preach. And there are people that will find themselves underneath him to hear that. I've heard all sorts of hooping before. I've never heard a, a, a screeching hooping, but I just wanted to share with you. I mean, I, I love you guys. And so I like to share. I was shared. Someone shared this annoying preaching style with me. And I just wouldn't feel right without sharing the same annoying preaching style with you. Amen.